Okay, are you ready? Look at this. It came. Well, it didn't come. I lied. I canceled my order because I ordered it through the mail and most of you have been emailing me. When are you going to do the big city slider? When are you going to do the big city slider? I wound up canceling the order because they wanted to charge me like $14 to ship this over a six week period. It's crazy. So I went over to Bed Bath & Beyond and picked it up for 20 bucks and brought it home just today. So we're going to do it right now. You guys, stop the emails now. We're doing it, okay? I got my ground beef right over here. I got my big city sliders and it's really interesting because they say that it, you just, you put the meat in and you grill it for two minutes and you're done. It works on any stove top. Yeah, we'll see. And of course, you've got that, that little mug right there, Billy Mays, amazing. All right, so let's take a look. But first, oh, by the way, I gotta mention, now you guys have seen the video, right? You've seen the little, if you haven't, go online and look for the Billy Mays Big City Slider commercial, it's everywhere. Um, there are rolls that are in the video that look delicious that he uses and the company contacted me they knew i was going to review this and they said hey jack how would you like to use the rolls that billy mays used in his video and i'm like cool so i got a letter here and uh from mac core distributors uh my buddy guy who's the president ooh, of the company uh he sent me one package of the rolls that are in the video and they're called now we don't get these in California yet, but they're called Martin's Famous Dutch Taste 12 Dinner Rolls, they're potato rolls. And they are so delicate and so soft, you can smell them through the package. These are, feel amazing. So I'm so thankful. And if you, guys, if you guys are interested in getting these, since you don't get them just anywhere, you gotta like specially order these. And I think they're available on the East Coast. But you can go to potatoroll.com and that should be on the screen right now, potatoroll.com. These are the rolls from the commercial. How cool is this? All right, so let's do it. So here we go. I'm gonna open this baby. It's never been open, so bear with me. I'll do a lot of editing, especially if I do something stupid. You guys aren't gonna see it. All right, you might see a little bit of it. Okay, let me see. Oh, look, an easy, look at it, a little tab you can, kind of, there, see? I love those little tabs. They work, oh, nice. All right. Now, as most guys do, we throw the instructions away. So bear with me, I'm gonna wing this like every other guy in America and see if I can't just figure out how this works. Okay, like this is really tiny. I mean, I didn't realize how small this really is. But just to give you an idea, look. Okay, yeah. It looks bigger on TV, I don't know why. Well, so do I, I look bigger on TV too. So we're going to, this is how it works, press this right in there. We're gonna put our patties in there and we have a measuring scoop that's gonna help us measure out our meat. All right, so let's remove the lid. Everything's been sanitized, don't worry. Everybody's like, oh, he didn't wash his hands. I washed my hands. All right, we're gonna take a scoop of, of meat. And I think that looks good. We're just gonna try it. So there's that scoop right there. Ta-da. Okay, that may be a little big. There, okay. Now, now I don't know whether I'm supposed to start grilling and then pressing or if I press, then grill. So I'm gonna peek at the recipe guide here and I'll be right back. It says to just put the meat in each one of the sections and then it says to just push down on it and then put it on the stove on a medium heat. And in two minutes we should have it. But my producer said that these didn't quite look like the one on TV, so we're going to just do a little touch up here. There. There, now don't, now don't tell me that doesn't look like the TV. Does that look like the TV? We're good, right? Okay, cool. All right, then you take this, and let me get another camera view. You just put it down there and press, nice and tight. Ooh, it's all squishy. There we go. Now let's get it on the stove. It says a medium flame at two minutes. So, I'm just gonna put that right on there. And it says it works on any stove top, so let's take a look and see. All right, we're halfway into it, about a minute. And it sounds like it's sizzling pretty good. Just took these off. It's been about two minutes. Let's see if they stick. And voila. Well, nothing stuck there. Looks like these are moving. These are moving pretty good too. They look juicy, don't they? Let's see if they're sticking. Nope. Absolutely, completely loose. None of them are stuck at all. They're beautiful. Both sides are cooked. So we're gonna have to do a taste test now, now that they're fully cooked. All right, so here's the best part. I get to taste while you watch. 
and we're gonna find out if it's really as good as they claim it to be. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Okay. So the mini burgers are really good. So first of all, I want to say thank you to Guy for sending me the uh, Martin's potato rolls. I also want to say, uh, Billy Mays, you uh, are correct. This is great. It's called Big City Slider Station. Go check it out. Also, don't forget to keep those emails coming and be sure to follow me on Twitter, okay? We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the show, but before you go, let me tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's delicious. And if that wasn't enough, we made a hot one. There it is. Whew, it's good. Hey, check out the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. I got that too. Bam, right there. And if you want more, I got the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, baby. Check it out at thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. See you there.